This is NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt, reporting tonight from the Olympic Summer Games in Rio. Good evening. Did they make the whole thing up? The Olympic Games here being overshadowed tonight by the stunning announcement by Rio de Janeiro police today that Ryan Lochte and three other American swimmers were not robbed at gunpoint, as Lochte had publicly claimed. Tonight's surveillance video suggests a series of events at a Rio gas station early Sunday morning that support some elements of the American story, including being held at the point of a gun, but contradicts much of what Lochte has previously told NBC News. Miguel Almaguer is working the story for us and has late details. Miguel? Lester, good evening. Two American swimmers were here at this police station by our count for at least five hours. At times, they were joined by officials from the U.S. government's office. It's clear investigators still have many questions. What's unclear is if they got all the answers they were looking for. Tonight, Brazilian police say American swim star Ryan Lochte is not a victim, but a vandal. After days of confusion, police now say Lochte, Jimmy Feagan, Gunnar Bentz, and Jack Cogner were not robbed. Instead, police say the swimmers damaged this gas station bathroom, breaking a mirror and a soap dispenser. The athletes then paid around 50 U.S. dollars for the damage. The incident caught on a series of closed-circuit videos. This footage shows the swimmers leaving a party at Club France at 5.47 a.m. The swimmers then say they got into a taxi. By 6.06 a.m., they're at this gas station. This video shows them near the bathroom. When an attendant walks up, they run out. Brazilian officials say the swimmers tried to leave and the station called police. At 6.09, a man approaches the cab, appearing to point a gun at the car for nine seconds. Three minutes later, the swimmers get out. One appears to pull money from his wallet. Another puts his hands up. At 6.56 a.m., the four men arrive back at the athlete's village. Both the video and police account are inconsistent with what Ryan Lochte told the Today Show's Billy Bush on Sunday. We got pulled over in our taxi. The guy pulled out his gun. He cocked it, put it to my forehead, and said, get down. And I was like, I put my hands up. I was like, whatever. When Lochte spoke to Matt Lauer by phone last night, he changed some of the details, admitting he was not pulled over on the street, but was indeed at the gas station at the time of the incident. As for the gun... I pointedly said to him, you had said before it was placed on your forehead and cocked. He said, no, that, that's not exactly what happened. Police say two security guards pointed guns at the swimmers. The swimmers were then asked to wait for police to arrive, but police say they refused to stay. Lochte returned to North Carolina earlier this week, today posting this video to a fellow swimmer on Instagram and taking it down a few hours later. But the three other swimmers remain in Rio. Last night, Bentz and Cogner were pulled from their plane, detained for hours and questioned by police. Some Brazilians are now demanding an apology from the swimmers. It was not, not very good for our image. At this police substation, this was the scene after they were questioned by investigators. That's the Americans leaving right now. And when they drove away, they drove off to the tent of liars, liars, and people yelling, you should be ashamed. Tonight in Rio, security has been stepped up. Police say their investigation is ongoing. The Americans are now gone, but the anger isn't. Lester, I have been covering and coming to Brazil for the last decade. I have never quite seen a scene like this one. The U.S. Olympic Committee had said all of the swimmers were cooperating with investigators, and we have late word tonight that swimmer Jimmy Feagan is now talking to police at this hour. Lester. All right, Miguel Almaguer here in Rio tonight. We want to bring in our colleague from NBC Sports, the host of NBC Olympic primetime coverage, Bob Costas. Bob, many Brazilians, as we've seen, are incensed at the idea American athletes would make up such a story. After so much American success on the playing field, what kind of stain might this leave on these games? I don't know about the games overall, but it certainly doesn't help Ryan Lochte. The other swimmers aren't helped by it either, but he is the bold-faced name. And swimmers generally don't make their money off competition, off prize money. They make it off endorsements. This is going to hurt him. This is going to stain his reputation. Do you think an apology is in order if what the Brazilian authorities are saying is true? 
I think an apology is in order just as a general matter of decency, but I also think it's a matter of diplomacy. It seems to me unlikely that Ryan Lochte and his colleagues wind up in a criminal court, but somehow this has to be untangled, and it is a public relations mess. The Brazilians are sensitive about the reputation that Rio has for street crime. There's legitimacy in that reputation, but if a false claim has been made in the spotlight of the Olympic Games, they want that claim to be cleared up. They want an apology, and they want it to be made clear that in this particular case, they are not at fault. All right, Bob Costas, always good to have you on. Thanks so much. Thanks, Lester.